What's up, everybody? It's Chris from Games Played here, back with another episode of Devil May Cry 3. In the last episode, we fought uh, the horse. Yeah, we fought the horse. That's right. And did we fight the jester? That's what else we fought. We fought the jester, too. I was like, I know we fought more than one boss. Um, but yeah, we fought the Jester again by accident. I didn't really know. I, ha I don't think I had to fight him. He gives you like nothing. But I guess uh, maybe you get something if you beat him. Like every time you find him. I don't know. Anyway, I uh, fought the Jester. I beat the horse, dude. And we're now moving on to mission. Is it 13? Let's see if we get a cut scheme here. As always, like and subscribe if you enjoy the content. It helps me out a ton. And I appreciate everyone. Don't do it, Virgil. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. He did it. Combined them. He's dropping them in the hole. Oh, no. No, don't do that. I'm going to make those angels up there mad. I'm sure you could have just cut like a little cut and then have to pull the whole knife like all the sword across it. Just a little. No. You're going to open this and whatever comes out is going to be stronger than you. Sorry guys, got to get in my my comfy battle of blood and brothers. I got five Virgil again. No. Oh, I did not want to fight Virgil again. Well. Can we buy anything? We can buy a large vital star. We got two of those. One out of three. Three out of six. Anyway. I guess. All we can do is just kind of jump into this and hope for the best. Mission start. I don't want to lose any life if I have to fight him soon. gonna stand here slowly take them out I don't want to lose life okay so we're fighting like what are these Chess pieces? I just, if we're gonna fight Virgil, I'd rather it be a short mission. In a fight, because I think we're going to die to him this time. I think this is a more serious fight. But I thought he was the main enemy of the game, so... What's in here? Hell's Highway? What does that mean? Well, we can't get there. I'm sure we'll circle back around to it at some point. Lux Luminous Corridor. Okay. 
Okay, so we got three devil stars. At the very least, we'll be able to uh, gain some devil trigger back. Do I need to fight these? Okay, so the light comes out. We want to hit both of them, right? I see. We want to block this one. That one's got to be gone. item that is but I'm sure we'll use it for something right work outcome the layer of judgment since it doesn't seem to affect the bonus much Wait, did I go the right way? Obsidian path. Okay, I think this is the, uh... Cover our devil trigger. They were nice enough to do that. There's something here? Purple. There ain't no way, because that would be what? B-A-S-S-S. -S -S. Yeah. No. C... A S S. Yeah, that's gonna be one of the tough ones for that. And that weapon is not eh, I'm not a fan of it. We'll keep it in mind. Um might as well also now equip Rudri and Rudra and Agni. And I guess we can save. This looks like a boss door, guys. Let's see what we can do against them, though. As suspected. Why isn't this working? Is there something missing? Must more blood be shed? You seem to be in a bad mood. Dante. So, my mother's amulet is the key that unlocks the door to the demon world. <laughs> Good plan, Pop. Just the opposite, actually. Originally, it was the key to the demon world, but was given to humans as a gift. It doesn't matter to me one way or the other. More importantly, I've come all this way. I'm sure you have time for one more game. There's 13. Every mission I've noticed, or at some point during cutscene, they'll have the number of the mission. After all, like when we fought Lady one time, it was in dirt on the ground, and I noticed it later, like in 9, I think. It looks like every mission, I think it's like an Easter egg thing, but anyway. Okay, bro. Come and get it. If you can. Woo! Ha! 
use our item. Oh, you're gonna switch to your sword now? No. <sighs> Damn, why is his last so much longer than mine? Damn. Woo, we beat it. So it took two health, which is like 20,000 orbs, but we did it. Oh, you just got in our way, lady. You forced him into this. Is that what you think? Foolish girl. They've both been cut pretty good. Today, you I had a feeling he had some kind of master plan. He wanted to help us for free. Look at him. He was mastermind. Because you underestimated humans. What's going on? Good girl. Pure and innocent. Just like your mother. You bastard! It's time for your spanking, my dear. Oh, he's in on it too. You want to know why the spell didn't break, mm, Virgil? You had the two amulets and Sparta's blood. You had everything you needed to unleash the evil. I told you before. I don't like anybody who has a bigger mouth than mine. You are wounded and weak. <laughs> Even I can do this to you. <laughs> Two amulets. A set of Sparta's blood. Now I need one more key. He sacrificed two things to suppress the tremendous force of this tower. His own devil's blood and a mortal priestess. 
I needed you. In whose body flows the same blood as the sacrificed woman. His spell cannot be undone without your blood. What? It was quite a ride, you know. <laughs> if any of you had died before getting here, our little plan would have gone to waste. Ha! Therefore, my job was to make you battle each other in order to weaken you. But at the same time, I had to guide you here and make sure that you were kept alive. I even went so far as dressing like a complete idiot. <laughs> It's time for bed, Mary. You can visit your dear. Oh, mother. is she gonna die? <laughs> Whoa! Try me. It's time for the clown to bow out, Darkum. Dude, the show's over. Impressive. I expected nothing less from the devil's descendants. But aren't you forgetting something, Virgil? The spell is broken. What do you think will happen next? Let's welcome chaos. No. Oh. Damn. So now we gotta go. So the clown is the main enemy, but he was actually this guy the whole time. Wow. Was not expecting that. SDC, what we get? A C. Eh, not too shabby. Not too sab shabby at all. But you know what? I was not expecting that. I'll give him that. I was not expecting the clown to have been that guy. I thought the clown was a mastermind behind something. Like, there's no reason for him to help Dante, like, make his way. I knew he wanted either Dante to kill Virgil so he could be, like, the king of demons or whatever. Or something like that. But, uh, yeah. That caught me by surprise a little bit. Anyways, I want to thank everyone so much for watching. Like, subscribe. See you in the next episode.